WordPress 6.6 .6 has arrived, and it's packed with new features to improve your website experience. From grid layouts to seamless design changes, there's a lot to get excited about with this new update. And to get this update, just go to your site's admin area and click Update Now. Or if you want to try out the new features before updating, you can use the WordPress Playground. This lets you test everything in your browser without affecting your site. And I'll include the link to the playground in the description. Now, ready to see what's new and how it can benefit your website? Let's walk through some of the highlights of this update. WordPress 6.6 .6 comes with a new layout in the site editor, which makes it easier to manage all the pages, templates, and template parts. Here is what you will see when you manage all of your pages in WordPress 6.6. .6. This layout will also show the previews of the templates, descriptions, authors, and the theme they're associated with. In addition, patterns are now easier to see and choose from whether you're working on a page, post, or within the pattern section of the site editor. Previously, a synced pattern applied the same way across the entire site, and any changes made to a synced pattern would automatically update all instances, leaving no room for individual customization. But now, with the new Pattern Overrides feature, users can partially override specific blocks with a synced pattern such as headings, paragraphs, buttons, or images without affecting the rest of the pattern. To see how this feature works, go to Appearance and find the Patterns option where you can manage and create your patterns. Now, let's just duplicate one of these patterns by clicking the three dots button. Click Duplicate and replace the name and categories here. Make sure to switch on the sync toggle so that all changes to this pattern will sync across multiple pages. Once you're done, click duplicate. To see the pattern that we just created, go to my patterns, click this and choose edit. From here, you can set overrides for the elements in this pattern. Here, I click the image, then the block menu, and then expand the advanced menu right here. Scroll down a little bit and click the Enable Overrides button. Here I'll name it Profile Image, then finish it by clicking Enable. I will also do the same process with the button here as I did for the image placeholder, and click Save to finish the process. Now let's try using this newly made pattern. Here I'll choose one of the available pages, edit the page, and insert the pattern I've created before. As you can see, here I can click the Edit button and replace the image, but when I click into the text, I can change that. And if you insert this pattern on other pages and make changes to the button and the image, you'll see that the text right here will stay the same. This pattern override feature makes it easier to maintain consistency while allowing flexibility for specific changes. It's also compatible with any theme, giving you more control over your content management and design. The next exciting new feature in WordPress 6.6 .6 is the grid block, which lets you create sleek, flexible grids that will look great on any screen size. And because the grid block removes unnecessary HTML, your pages will load faster and provide a better user experience. To start using the grid block, simply type slash grid as a shortcut to add the grid container to your page or add the grid block to the page from the block inserter here. There are two options to control the columns and rows, auto and manual. The auto control sets the grid rows and columns using a minimum width for each item to ensure that your content will stay organized and look great on any device. But if you want to specify the exact number of columns, then use the manual control instead. And one more thing I love about this feature is how you can customize the grid styles. You can change the text color and even add a background image. These responsive grid layouts really enhance both the functionality and appearance of your site. Now for those of you who use blog themes, with WordPress 6.6 .6, you can now customize the color and typography settings of your website without changing the broader styling of the site. Just go to the style area within the site editor and here you will find the new color palette feature where you can easily change the page background color, text color, link color, and button background color. To change the typeface, click typography here and feel free to mix and match any of these presets. Once you're satisfied with the result, select the save button. 
To refine any of your styles, simply go to the style section of the site editor. With these new color palettes and font sets, it's possible to create unlimited design options within the same theme. Additionally, WordPress 6.6 .6 presents new negative margins in the blog editor that let you create more dynamic and visually appealing layouts without the need for custom CSS. To use negative margins, simply select the block you want to adjust, navigate to the block settings in the right sidebar, and enter a negative value in the margins field. This pulls the block in a specified direction, allowing for a precise positioning and creative layout option. Negative margins can be useful for designers who want to create complex layouts quickly and easily. And this new feature streamlines the workflow by keeping all design adjustments within the block editor, eliminating the need to switch back and forth between the editor and custom CSS files. Besides offering awesome new design features, WordPress 6.6 .6 has your back when it comes to plugin auto update crashes. If a plugin auto update causes any issues, the rollback feature in WordPress 6.6 .6 can quickly detect the problem and revert the plugin to its previous stable version. This helps minimize downtime and keeps your website running smoothly. In previous versions, users had to manually monitor plugin updates and test each one on a staging site before updating their live site to avoid potential issues. With the rollbacks for plugin auto updates, users can activate auto updates with confidence and save time and effort from the constant manual oversight and testing. This feature is particularly useful for users who manage multiple sites or those who may not have the technical expertise to troubleshoot update issues. And to activate auto updates for your plugins, go to the plugins page and click enable auto updates under the automatic updates section. And lastly, it's important to mention that PHP 7.0 and 7.1 are outdated versions that no longer receive security updates, making them vulnerable to exploits and less efficient compared to newer versions. By discontinuing support for these older PHP versions, WordPress encourages users to upgrade to more recent, secure, and performant versions of PHP. For developers, dropping support for older PHP versions also simplifies the code base and reduces the need for backward compatibility fixes. This way, they can focus more on leveraging the latest PHP features and improvements. And those are some highlights on what's new in WordPress 6.6. .6. Which update are you most excited about? Make sure to tell us in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more WordPress content. And if you found this video useful, please press like and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and good luck on your online journey.